Hey everybody. So I don't normally do videos like this on on this channel here, and uh, <laughs> this kind of is a weird cross between my documentary channel, A Dark Path, and this channel here, which by the way is linked in the description below if you want to check that out. I did a video over Kaylee Elise if you guys want to want to see that. And uh, on top of that, I'll be doing more creepy stories, but this. It's one of those weird things there. It, it involves a metal musician and uh, a creepy factor thing kind of going on. So because I'm going to make this a short video, I'm going to go ahead and just put this on my music channel. And uh, I hope you guys, uh, you know, find this to be useful to a degree or something. But anyway, yeah, if you want to see some uh, creepier upcoming videos, serial killer stuff like that, please click the link in the description below and subscribe to that channel. It would help me out a lot. Anyway, Lost Prophets, uh, child diddler. I, how can I say that word on YouTube, really? Ian Watkins shanked in prison after inmates take him hostage. This is the thing. If you all don't remember this story, back in 2013, Lost Prophets uh, vocalist ended up getting charged with uh, committing several acts, several acts of messing with underage children and one of the most egregious acts of course as you all will remember more than likely most of y'all will remember involved a fan's infant yeah so it's one of those things that i'm not a i'm not a violent person okay and i do not advocate for violence by any means that being said, I'm not exactly going to be crying over uh, Ian Watkins here, okay? This is next-level insanity. I can't even fathom how someone looks at an infant or a toddler or a child and goes, that looks good to me. And if you can fathom that, I would highly recommend you check yourself into a psychiatric hospital and let them know. The only way that uh, you can prevent yourself from doing something awful if you do have a mental illness is by being aware of said problem. And I don't know that this guy was necessarily aware or not. So it is one of those things that it's, it's, a, tough, it's a tough call, right? Because how, how is it that you can treat this guy any differently from like a serial killer or something like that? Clearly he's mentally ill, right? Surely we should be trying to do something to fix him right uh we put him in prison as if like you know he can be like rehabilitated or something and <clears throat> also we have the idea that prisons are now just holding cells for people for the rest of their lives that are crazy we lock the door throw away the key and just let them rot for some people maybe it is good for people like ian here you know what i mean and then there's a lot of other people that maybe it's not so good so I don't know. It's 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 a it's always going to be a weird area when you really sit down and think about it. Like, hey, does this guy need some sort of help? Hey, is there something else we should be doing, or should we just be locking away and throwing the key, or should we just you know spend fifty cents on a round and be done with him? Right? If you all catch my drift, there are many many different answers, many different solutions, and people will always debate this probably forever until we actually do get proper funding, of course, and have different programs and. Maybe bring back asylums that, you know, in the, not in the same sense as they were. I mean, obviously, obviously, asylums were awful, but not because of what they tried to do, but because of what they became. Unregulated, completely. Uh, and they did not have the technology to fix the people back then. This, I mean, think about it. This, uh, insane Asylum started in the 1800s and went all the way up to, what, 1960? Like, we just did not have anything to help fix any of these people. And they were not regulated by any means, and they could get away with whatever they wanted. Kind of, a, kind of an awful, awful amount of power to give some people that uh, shouldn't have had any authority. And yet, that's what happened. So then we completely got rid of the insane asylum thing altogether. Now that we're in modern day, insane asylums, I think, if they were made up now, would do really, really, really well. We obviously have medications. We can obviously get people figured out quickly and uh, 
you know, maybe prevent a lot of crimes by having dead asylums. And if people cannot be fixed, then it does essentially become kind of a luxury prison. Prison where they got their padded walls, their TVs, and their snacks, and their foods, and every now and then need to be restrained, but they can actually live relatively normal lives. Kind of. A little bit better than a cold, icy, you know, 4x4 four four cell, and however big their cell is, I'm just pulling stuff out of my head at this point, you know what I mean? Uh, out of my rear end, that is. Um, but, you know, actually give them relatively normal lives, because they hadn't committed a crime, but they're likely to commit a crime due to their mental illness, depending on the type of mental illness it is. Or maybe it's just a bad idea in general. Maybe our society is perfect the way it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and try to be one to figure it out. But we can go through uh, all of this here. And I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of brainstorming about it. Maybe nothing will work. Maybe this guy got exactly what he deserved, right? Like I said, I'm not going to cry over the guy. The dude did awful, harmful things to children. And at the end of the day, if someone were to tell me that uh, someone snuck in something, or actually, at the end of the day, if someone were to tell me that uh, the prisoner got him and Ian ain't coming back, if you catch my drift there, ah, well, I mean, I guess that's the way it is, isn't it? That's about as far as I'll go for that. I'm not going to sit there and celebrate it because I'm not going to celebrate violence. Okay, the guy is serving his time. He got justice served, right? Some people may think that's not enough justice, and that's, that's a fine opinion to have. At the end of the day, these are going to all be opinions. I'm just not going to be very sad over someone like this. Now, if I found out that some Ian was in prison, and he was accused of all of this, and there was absolutely zero evidence to corroborate that he had done anything at all, that would be a different story, wouldn't it? And I would be condemning people but the fact that we know for a fact he did it and that he is serving his time. It is uh, one of those things that I'm just like, well, whatever happens, happens, I guess. So the uh, that's a really I don't like those three words in the same pedo rock star there. I, I, I genuinely <laughs> bothers me a lot. OK, thank you uh, for the imagery there. Independent. Uh, anyway, Ian Watkins has reportedly been stabbed at HMP Wakefield. The former Lost Prophets frontman is said to have been taken to a hospital after being, uh, I can't say that word too many times, blanked at the prison in West Yorkshire. A source told The Mirror he had been taken hostage by three other inmates Saturday morning. A prison service spokesperson said police are investigating an incident which took place on Saturday at HMP Wakefield. We are unable to comment further while police investigate. So that's about as far as it is right now. I'll try to give an update if uh, there are updates to be had. Watkins was jailed for 29 years in December of 2013 with a further six years on license. I don't know what that means. After admitting a string of offenses, including the admitted <laughs> blank attempted, including the attempted, not admitted, blank of a fan's baby. I mean... That's just absolutely insane. The disgraced singer was arrested following the execution of a... Wow, of a drugs warrant, really? At his uh, Ponty Pride home September 21st, 2012, when a large number of computers, mobile phones, and storage devices were seized. Analysis of equipment uncovered Watkins' depraved behavior. That's just insane. In 2017, the Independent Police Complaints Commission... IPCC, uh, revealed that he could have been caught and brought to justice nearly four years earlier if police had properly investigated reports from a series of informants. Of course, that always happens. That always happens. When you have more than three or four people and you can determine that three or four people were not connected to each other in any way, shape, or form, you should just do an investigation. An investigation sucks, you know, if you're innocent, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, if they can't find evidence then it's fine, but they could have seized his assets there and looked through them. They didn't, though, unfortunately. In a damning report, the IPCC details how South Wales police missed a series of opportunities to stop, put a stop to the Lost Profit Singer campaign of abuse against children in the years before his arrest. Officers were found to have made errors and omissions and in some instances failed to carry out even rudimentary investigation into reports of 
Watkins wrongdoing made by his ex-girlfriend Joanne, I cannot pronounce that last name, uh, I don't know, and other witnesses between 2008 and 2012. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm not gonna read further onto this because it's a little messed up, and it's starting to make me uncomfortable and irritated. But regardless, I believe that he was actually, if I remember the reports, now this, I was a, I was a fresh graduate of high school at this time. I remember specifically someone telling me that he ended up uh, getting walked in on by the, by the parents of the baby, and they managed to save the baby that way. Uh, but, oh man, if I, <laughs> I got two little girls that I'm watching right now, I'm taking a quick break to make this video. As they're screaming at each other. Sorry if you all hear that. But regardless, um, if something happened in any way, shape, or form, which I would never allow any friends or anybody to just take my kid somewhere, I will always be with my kid right there no matter what. But if something like that happened and I walked in on friend, fan, uh, you know, anything in that situation with someone with my kid, they would never have made it to prison. They never would have made it there. It would have been done right there on the floor. Brutally. Brutally. It, yeah, that's what would have happened. So I, I don't know how that didn't happen, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Like I said, I'm not a violent person, uh, but, you know, you, you harm my children. Yeah, that's anybody. You harm anybody's kids, really. Typically, that's what's going to happen. So anyway, guys, are you all um, celebrating this? Are you guys kind of like, meh, kind of like I am? Like, I'm like, I see this story, and I think it is news that definitely needs to be shown out there. I think a lot of people will be happy about this in general. It, to me, it's not that I'm not, like, I'm not trying to say, hey, uh, this isn't a good thing or something like that, or I'm not trying to minimize this for a lot of people out there. I'm just saying, in general, this isn't something I go out of my way to celebrate. You know what I mean? For this specific case, though, kind of leaning on towards the little bit of, like, this was a good thing more than it was a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things where I saw it, I didn't think anything of it at first, and I was like, hey, you know what? Talk about it on the music channel. I want to see people's actual feelings on this. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share and all, and hey, maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll do more videos like this every now and then a little more often for this channel if you guys like this. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys here in the next one. Later.